subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Why Furiosa director George Miller decided against the aging Charlize Theron Has it really been nine years since Mad Max, Fury Road barreled into theaters, re-established George Miller as, arguably, the greatest action filmmaker on the planet, and made a blessedly clean break with the franchise's highly problematic, to put it lightly, star? Almost a decade later, everything about the film feels not just present, but prescient. Thematically, aesthetically, and politically, it was the perfect film for an uncertain time, and, in terms of judiciously utilizing CG to enhance practical, large-scale stunt work, no one has come close to matching it. Mad Max, Fury Road loses none of its high-octane impact on rewatch, but when you begin analyzing it on a purely technical level you can't help but wonder how in the heck Miller pulled it together without going, well, mad. No less a filmmaker than Steven Soderbergh has expressed total bewilderment, in a good way, over Miller's achievement. So when he announced his plan to dive back into the saga with a Furiosa prequel, we once again questioned his sanity. We'll have to wait until May to find out if Miller has equaled or, dare to dream, surpassed the greatness of Mad Max, Fury Road with Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, but when it comes to his use of CG, we know there's one in fashion technique that he won't be employing. Because if he did, he would have cast a different actor. When Miller announced four years ago that Charlize Theron wouldn't be returning as Furiosa in the prequel, it was both a bummer and a relief. On one hand, it was almost impossible to imagine anyone other than Theron as this indelible character, however, knowing that this would be a prequel that would take Furiosa from her teens into her twenties, Miller's decision made sense. Because the other option was to the age Theron, and that's a bit of digital trickery that the filmmaker isn't ready to embrace. Miller elaborated on this decision in a recent print interview with Empire, and confessed that it wasn't easy to move on from Theron. After all, on the first day of shooting Fury Road, Theron jokingly asked Miller if they could tell Furiosa's backstory first, because she knew as well as her director that Furiosa was a hero whose journey, past, present, and future, was packed with potential. According to Miller, if he'd made Furiosa first, Theron would have absolutely starred in the film. He didn't move on from her easily, but he simply couldn't go that a aging route. As he told Empire,